Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. This is the Instagram Slowdown, I'm Jared Z, and this is the time that I take to look at some cool stuff that I find on Instagram, slow down, and um, try, to, try to break apart why I love what I'm seeing, and hopefully learn from that, and hopefully somebody else out there can learn from that too. Um, today I wanted to look at Nathaniel Jensen photography. Nate is uh, an Omaha-based photographer who I know he is a... Uh, a really cool guy and a fabulous photographer. Um, if you look at his page, one of the things that I love about it is how absolutely consistent he is. When I'm scrolling through, it just has this consistent feel, a consistent look, a consistent style. Um, that's one of the things I don't do a great job on. This is my account. And for instance, like these three trucks are totally different editing styles. Now, part of it is I'm just messing around, right? But, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I think I, I, I mess around a little bit too much where I have like here's some faded blacks and here's some darker blacks. Right. Um, faded blacks again. Real contrasty, real, you know, saturated. Um, when you look at Nate's, though, man, a consistent vision, a consistent style. And um, he absolutely gets people comfortable in front of the camera. Um, he finds the emotions. Um, I love the emotion in this shot. I love the emotion in this shot. Sun flare matching the emotion. Oh my gosh. Um, look at Nate has some amazing stuff. Um, look at some really cool stuff. Um, sorry, I'm getting caught up. I picked out this photo. This one. It's one of my favorites. He sent me the full version, which is cool. So, uh, We'll be able to be. I'll be able to look at it, you know, full res. And um, right off the bat, I think that you, a viewer, can understand that this is a really strong photo. We have a cool background, um, you know, all these leaves and the trees surrounding this couple, and we have some really cool ability. Um, Nate uses some a strong ability to control depth of field. Right. We have perfect focus on the couple and there's a lot of focus from the front of the dress all the way to the back of the the groom. Um, and there's just enough depth of field to also throw the background completely blurry, which is really cool. Right. Because you want to bring them away from the background. Um, so he didn't play around with depth of field at all here. He set his aperture to the exact um, way he wanted to and um, it really benefits the photo the foreground leaves are totally blurry and they also add a canopy slash um, a little bit of a framing ability a around the uh, the couple you can tell that they're not dead totally dead center dead center would have been right here they're a little bit off to the to the bottom right I'm not really big into rule thirds or anything like that I don't really care much about it um, it's one of those things that's cool at the beginning to mess around with and say all right I'm gonna put my subjects off uh, into the corners, but when you get farther along in your photography career, you start to learn that, well, that's not really the only way to do it. Um, and, uh, you know, but this, this photo works, the pathway leads into the couple. Um, you know, you, we, we, we look at the photograph and pretty much everything works together to put you right here, to put you right where Nate wanted you to look. The couple themselves just look great. The skin tones are perfect. Nate has an edit editing style where the the leaves are a little bit, um, they're not exactly like natural leaves that you'd find um, every day. Um, they're they're a little bit desaturated. They're a little bit shifted in tone, and I think that's actually pretty cool, especially because Nate is so consistent in all of his all of his edits, and he's able to do this while still getting absolutely beautiful skin tones. Um, the, the skin tones just look glowing. And when you look at this desaturated background a little bit, the skin tones really stand out. I love that. Um, I also really enjoy this, the colors in these leaves, the, the brown, the golden kind of brown. They're not only up here, but they're also scattered around the couple. Now, you know, Nate, I bet you probably went in and scattered all these leaves yourself. Um, no, you probably didn't, but that's, uh, you know, happy. It's happy to have that in the photo. And um, I think this everything works together to create this really cool, um, warm feeling for this for this couple. Their hands are together. 
their smiles are perfect. Um, their pose is natural feeling. Um, there's also this this really like heart shaped um, outline to the to the couple. Right, you know, their hands are together. You could see the ring, and right in the middle of where the kind of the heart is, um, the 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 couple's faces are together and they're smiling in a way that's just beautiful. I love that. Um, it's it's a gorgeous pose, um, and it's a, just a really good image. This is one of those shots that um, I can learn from personally because I often get a little bit too close to to my couples, where um, I'm framing in like this, and that's a lot of the photos that I do is framed in. Um, Nate is reminding me to step back a little bit and look at the surroundings a little bit more and use those surroundings to my advantage. Um, so this is a really good reminder for me and maybe for some other people to do more of that. Um, so Nate, thanks for letting me share this. Awesome photograph, really awesome account. Um, love your work and uh, uh, your, your stuff is worth studying. So. I um, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know if there's anyone else out there that I should uh, look at and talk about. Um, thanks for checking out my video.